Hello everyone, so I thought I would vlog today because I miss vlogging, so I thought I would. Now I am back in Oxford again, um, I've come down for a few days, I think I might stay about a week, I'm not completely sure yet. But today I am off to London and I'm going for afternoon tea with Rimmel, which is very exciting. And then afterwards we're going to their press launch, so that is very exciting and I'm very, very excited about it. So I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing and then I better be off and make my way there because I definitely, definitely don't want to be late for the afternoon tea. So I've just come into the other room to show you because um, the room, the other room don't have like a big long mirror. So I have got my Ralph Lauren jumper on which I thought looked quite nice. I've got my black Joni jeans and then I've got these June shoes which Aaron got me for Christmas and I love them. they got little tassels and I hadn't been able to wear them before today because it hasn't been warm enough but it's so nice outside today so I'm excited. I'm going to go put my coat on and stuff and show you what it looks like all together. I was going to wear heels and then I was like oh I don't really know because walking around if I get tired I'm going to be like oh, I regret this. Oh my god. No, I thought I had lipstick on my teeth. So, let's go get my coat bag and let's go. It's not actually too cold, but I'm going to be there quite late. And when it, it's like later and it's darker and the sun's gone in, it's going to be cold. So I thought I'd put on my Louis Vuitton scarf and then I've got this coat on. I just thought I would wear this coat with it because I think it looks quite nice. And yeah, so let's go to London. As you would have seen in the little clips that I inserted just before this, we went to the Haymarket Hotel for afternoon tea with Rimmel, which was really, really nice. It was so delicious. The scones were so good, and I also had a summer mint tea as well. Afterwards, we headed over to the Rimmel Press Day, where we found about all the new stuff for spring and summer this year, which is so, so exciting. There's some really exciting things coming out which I'm really really excited about which I'm going to tell you about. Now basically I've got a goodie bag at the end and it has all of the new products in. I'll talk through them properly tomorrow because I am so excited and I think I might try a few out so I'll probably give like maybe like some little first impressions type thing. So I'm going to end today's vlog here. I think I might put a few days together so today I will put in with tomorrow and maybe um, Saturday and Sunday because today is actually Thursday so I might do like maybe a four day vlog I don't know I'll see how I go but I think I'm definitely going to put a few days so tomorrow is my mum's birthday which is exciting um, I'm not too sure what we are doing yet but I'm very very excited and obviously that's one of the main reasons why I'm down in Oxford because I thought it would be nice to spend a few days here instead of just spend a day on her birthday or something so I thought why not you know come down to Oxford for a little bit so that's what I'm doing. I'm not completely sure what I'm doing over the weekend. I think we might be going for a meal on Saturday, I believe. But we will see. Tomorrow in the morning I have to go and get some flowers. Because there's nowhere to put them now. If I like I could hide them in the car, but I don't want them to go funny. So I thought, oh, I'll just pop it in the morning and get some. And then obviously I've got mum's present, which is in the suitcase over there, which I don't think she's seen. I hope she hasn't seen. It's not actually wrapped up yet. So I hope she hasn't seen that, but one of the things she will really like, and I will show you because, oh, let me quickly show you now. So I got her these. These are um, biscuitiers. She's never had biscuitiers before, and she's really wanted some, so I got her these. And if I open them, kind of, properly tomorrow because I won't have to open them, but they're the lipsticks. These are so, so cute, and I'm whispering because the door's open and she's only down the hall. And I don't want her to hear until tomorrow, but... I'll show you these. I love biscuitiers. I'll show you them tomorrow. Hello everyone. So it's the next day and it is my mum's birthday today. So I'm making her a tiered cake. You know those ones that um with like 
strawberries and um, I'm making a meringue icing and yeah a tiered cake but I need to pop out and get the icing stuff because I don't have it yet so we are going to go to Tesco oh I tried out some of the new Rimmel products on my face today you can't really see because I'm in the car and stuff but I will have to show you I don't know if I can have you in here while I drive let's see if this works out off we go to Tesco! So I'm off to Tesco, which is literally down the road from my parents, like the massive Tesco is down here. I'm making a naked layer cake with strawberries and raspberries, and I'm making a like meringue icing, which should be quite interesting because I've never made a meringue, a Swiss meringue, I believe. It's not too bad. Is that okay? Yay, we're at Tesco, so let us go get our bits and I can show you the cake. I think it's kind of, let me unhook you. It's not good so far. I've done two layers, but I think I might do four all together. I'm not completely sure like how many I want to do, but I think it can make four. If I push it and it makes five, I'll be like super happy about that because that would just be really good. So, off to Tesco. I need to get flowers. I think I need to pick up some bits for my mum, for Aaron. So I hope I remember everything. I should have wrote a list and I didn't, but we'll see. We should be fine. And I'll talk to you when we get back in the car. These are the flowers I got my mum. I think they're so pretty. Oh, they're so nice. I hope she likes them. Go. Go. You can go. I'm letting you go. It's that awkward moment when you let someone go and then they like don't move because I was like oh there's a lot of cars I let them go and then they just kind of sit there and you're like please go but um yeah so I really hope it turns out to be a four layered cake in the end actually I think that would be really nice if it was four layers I think it would be like a nice size to have um so that would be really good I've never made Swiss meringue icing before so I don't know how that's gonna turn out I hope it turns out okay I know it is a bit more complex than ordinary icing. Like I'm fine with ordinary icing, but I was like, oh, I want to try something different for a change. So I thought, you know, why not make some I have made before? I got the strawberries and raspberries. Yeah, so the Rimmel stuff, I really like this lipstick. And I've tried the eyeliner, which will be amazing for when doing a winged eyeliner. I was doing my makeup in a bit of a rush, so I didn't actually like um, do a winged eyeliner today. And I tried the mascara and it separates your lashes really nice. You know like some they can make it a bit like clumpy and a bit spider leggy this doesn't do it it's just really nice and really like just really nice so i'm just making the icing and i've got to wait for it to get to a hundred and no not 100 60 degrees oh the camera's steaming up over here ignore the mess because i've been making a bit of a, a mess while i'm making this i've got one two three and the fourth one is in at the moment so I need to keep whisking this and then I will show you the biscuitiers afterwards because they're so, so cute. Just got to keep on whisking. This is like taking forever but let's hope it turns out good. I'm nearly finished, the icing is done. We have the raspberries, the strawberries, and all of these. So now, I'm just going to make it on here. crazy this has took me oh it's not focusing yeah it's focused this has took me so long you would not believe I'm so happy with how it's turned out 
I just hope it tastes good because I've never made it with this type of icing before. Let's go see what everyone thinks. I hope they like it. But let me get Aaron first. Aaron! Come see the cake! Come see this cake. Let's have a look. No, you stay there, look. Yeah. We'll all have a look. What do you think? Ooh. Look at this! Ooh. Look at this! Ooh. What do you think? Ooh. That looks good, doesn't it? Do you it? think it looks good? I, I don't know what it's going to taste like. I've never made this I icing. I think your mum will hate it. Come on in! Do you like it? Oh my god, that looks good. I do know what it's going to taste oh, like. It's some amazing. meringue icing. I've oh never made a meringue icing. Nice. So, this is what it looks like all done. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I think a little bit came off here, which annoyed me slightly, but oh well. I think it looks quite good though. And then we've got the strawberries, the raspberries, and then on top we've got the it focuses all the icing and stuff and I just think it looks good. These are the ones I got her. Me and Aaron got her for her birthday and they, if it focuses, they're just little lipsticks. I think they are so, so cute. And now it's time to eat some cake. Aaron's just painting my toenails, aren't you Aaron? Mm -hmm. And it's the new Rimmel ones. What's the colour? Could you pass it me please quickly? So it's this one. It's one of the new Rimmel Super Gel colours, which I will tell you all about in a moment. And this one's Cocktail Passion, which I think is really, really pretty on my toes. I thought I would now show you what was in the Rimmel goodie bag. And it's their Spring Summer Launches 2016, which are very exciting. So these are the Moisture Renew Sheer and Shine Lipsticks. I think they are so, so gorgeous. They have a really lovely sheer finish. And they said they're really hydrating on the lips. And I just think that this one is so, so pretty. I really love the look of this one too. I just think it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shade. These are going to be so nice for spring and summer. So I love the pink lids. I think they're so cute. Moving on to these. These are the Super Jam Nail Polishes. They're meant to be like a gel nail and last for up to 14 days. So you do two coats of the normal one and then two coats of this, which is what really reinforces it and makes it last for two weeks. I really hope that it lasts that long. This is the one that I've got on my toenails. This is Cocktail Passion. I think it's so, so pretty. And I'm going to paint my nails tonight. And I think I might do it in this either light pink or actually the same as my toenails because I love these. We've got some Kate Moss shades as well, which are also, also beautiful. These are the Kate Sculpting and Highlighting Kits, which are so beautiful. So there's a lovely highlight, contour and blush shade. And they have these for um, fair to medium skin, which is this one. And then the one next to it is medium to dark skin. And they are so nice. I can't wait to use these. Then these are the Insta Flawless Tinted Primers. And I'm always looking out for new primers to use and to see what they're like. So I'm really excited to give these a go. So these are just meant to make your complexion look really lovely, really glowy, really beautiful. Then we have these eyeliners. They're the Color Precise Eyeliners and they're like felt tips. And we have it in a blue, black and white. And I'll quickly show you what it looks like on my hand because these are so pigmented. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's the blue, black and white. And they are so, so amazingly pigmented. And the white, these are all like literally like Sharpies. And this white isn't chalky at all. It's like a proper actually white, white, if you know what I mean. This is going to be amazing at brightening the eyes. And another product that's going to be great for brightening up the eyes is the Brow This Way. This is the Rimmel Brow This Way. And it's in this beautiful champagne colour. And this is just going to be amazing for brightening up the eye area. And then on to the last product, which is one of their most exciting ones. This is the Volume Colorist Mascara. And this is actually amazing because it's actually a semi-permanent lash tint. So as you wear it, it's meant to actually blacken your lashes as it goes along, which is amazing. It also separates out your lashes really, really nice. I've already used this, as I said, and I already love it. I'm going to use this over the next two weeks and see if it actually does darken my lashes. And I'm really excited because my lashes are quite light and blonde. So I'm very, very excited to give this a go and see how it goes. I'm actually going to end today here because I have my tea. I have my little snowman chocolate, which is so cute. And I also have pretty little liars. So today was really good. My mum really enjoyed her birthday, which was really good. 
And tomorrow we're going for a meal. Aaron's playing football. Yes, Aaron's playing football. Then we're going for a meal in the evening and everything. So that'll be good. And I will also include... So I think yesterday, today and tomorrow is going to be one vlog all in one. So I hope you like that. And I will see you in a few seconds in tomorrow's vlog. Hello everyone. So it's now the next day and we are currently off to Aaron's football. How are you feeling mm. about it? Um... I'm worried that I'm going to be like blowing after two minutes. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. And he hasn't played in a while, so he's slightly worried that he's retired not gonna. Retired. Yeah, retired now. Now you're 24. Too old for it. Too old for that. Too old for football. So that's where we're going now. And then later on, um, like I said before, we're going for a meal at Lock Fine. That's not till eight o'clock, and it's half one at the moment. So I don't know what we're going to do in between, but. We will see. So it's much later now. We are about to go to Lock Fine for dinner in Jericho in Oxford. So I will quickly show you what I'm wearing. On my lips also, I am wearing um, Hot Gossip by MAC. It's a really easily wearable lipstick and sometimes, you know, like when you go for food and you wear lipstick, sometimes I don't like to wear dark or too bright colours because I don't want it to like smudge everywhere. So I really like this one and I will quickly go into the other room and show you what I'm wearing. Ignore the mess in the background, my mum's just like sorting some bits out and we are heading off now so she didn't have time to finish it. So I'm wearing this top, this is from Miss Guided and this skirt which is from Miss Selfridge and I just think they look really nice. Obviously I'm not going to be wearing my slippers, I'll probably put on my brogue boots or something like that just because it's freezing and so I want to keep my feet warm but I also want to look nice. So... This is my outfit. I'm also going to take my speedy with me because I was going to take my Neverfull but it's quite big and I think this one is a lot nicer for like going out for meals and evenings and I can still fit like a ton of stuff inside it. And all the leftover chips. Or My leftover <laughs> chips. Everyone's leftover Anyone. chips. Yep. The managers out there or any of the men's just to be there. Yep. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's fine, yeah, yeah. Everyone enjoy their meal today. <laughs> So we're now back at my mum's, the meal was really nice. I was speaking quite quiet in there because it's like quite busy and I don't really want to stick a camera like all the way out here and talk because it can be a little awkward sometimes but if you couldn't hear me properly I had the tempura, the, the squid tempura um, with chilli jam and then I had the cod in batter with mushy peas and like a tartar sauce with chips and it was so so yummy I absolutely loved it so we have quickly rushed to Tesco because it closes at midnight on a Saturday and we have picked this up Terry chocolate orange which I thought it's the large one and I thought I normally get um, dairy milk every single time at the buttons ones but I thought I fancy something different so we have the bars of Terry chocolate orange in and then we also have this big egg which is like uh, it's not it's not the size of my head obviously but it is fairly big as you can see when I put next to my head so what Aaron just made me a cup of tea and what are we gonna watch Aaron? Pokemon! Pokemon! Woo! Pokemon. Pokemon! Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! See you guys! I thought I would share my favourite foundations. Now as I have oily skin, these are my top foundations for people with oily skin.